a rainy day today and I went to my local thrift store and I found this snowboard um, for 20 bucks, which is a, a bargain. Ever since painting my skateboard, I've been wanting to do another one or something kind of cool. So snowboard is awesome. It took me a while to come up with a design. So I tried out a few different designs with my iPad transferred the design to Photoshop and then use the slice tool so that way I can position the illustration to scale and save the file into different segments so that way I can print it from my computer. Then I could sticky tape the stencil together and position it on the snowboard. I still had to do this a few times just to get the size right. Then once I was happy I used some blue tack to position it into place and then use the carbon transfer technique. You can check out my other video where I painted a skateboard to see how I did this. But basically I used a graphite pencil to shade one side and then used a ballpoint pen to use pressure and push down which transferred the graphite onto the surface and that way I could use it as a stencil for my painting. Once I was done, I took off the stencil and then sprayed the surface with a sealing spray so that way the graphite marks wouldn't go anywhere or get smudged. Then I used acrylic paints and acrylic medium to color in the design. Acrylic medium helps to stretch the paint and also depending on the type that you use, it can also help to make the paint dry faster as well. Because the snowboard is an unconventional material, the first layer of paint looks really um, ugly and quite thin. You can see these brush strokes. So I had to work with several different layers to build up the color and as well the shading. Because I really like to use this graphic kind of anime style, adding these bold dark outlines at the end really helped make the design stand out at the end. My design is based off of Rocket Child, which is my online artist persona. You might see, uh, see my character a lot with my branding. And what I also like to do is use this uh, exploding head motive and that represents my creativity exploding out of me. When first adding the base colors, it does look a bit weird. It's almost as if you could see my brain inside of my head, but with time and as we worked on, I added more metallic paint as well as glitter and little star shines to create this effect that uh, the inner creativity exploding out into this cosmic effect so it, it worked out in the end even though it was a bit weird for a while. Afterwards I painted the edges and sealed it with some sealing spray as well as some liquid resin. This helps to protect the artwork and also it helps in the future to keep it clean. When you use glitter particles, it can attract lots of dust and make it difficult to clean. So adding a smooth resin coat actually helps to protect it from uh, getting all that dust build up. And now I have it as a wall decoration in my studio. If you wanna learn more about painting uh, these kind of big surface big surfaces. You can check out my previous video on how to paint a skateboard. If you like what I do, you can also check out my channel where I have different speed painting videos documenting my art making process and a few tutorials for beginner artists as well. Also, you can follow me on some of my other social media such as Instagram if you want to support me. So thanks a lot and I'll see you later. Bye.